I'm getting ready to show you how to make four of the most easiest and delicious soups for fall that you could ever think of. Sit back and relax and let me do the cooking. Come on y'all, let's go. Also, I wanted to mention that today's video is super special because it is part of Soup Timber, hosted by Leanne over at the Mennonite Farmhouse. She is also doing a drawing on October 7th live over on her channel. So please make sure you watch all the videos that's gonna be in this playlist. There's one a day for the whole month of September. You don't wanna miss out on this because that giveaway is gonna be something special. So make sure you come back and look for this logo on every video and have a chance to win. Leave a comment in everybody's video. Please be friendly and let's get to cooking. All right, y'all. So supper tonight's gonna be one of my absolute favorite fall crock pot meals, but I make it year round because I love it so much. We are gonna have cream cheese, chicken chili. Yep, you heard it. And I've got just a little bit of time to put this together. And that's why I love you can use frozen chicken. So it is now 7.29 in the morning. I have to be at work by 8.15. Let's get this started. And then I'll show you what time it is once we've got everything put together. But for this, you'll need mild chili, some ranch dressing seasoning. So both of those seasoning packs. Mixed chili beans are just regular chili beans, can of black beans, some chicken broth, some diced tomatoes, and a can of corn. You won't have to drain any of these. You just dump it all in there. You can hear the thunder and the lightning. We're finally getting some rain, and I'm thanking the Lord for it. <laughs> and of course, some frozen chicken breast. I just have four in here, and a block of cream cheese. Let's get this put together. Right, so I gave our crock pot a good spray down, and I know you can see the shadows, so my apologies. First things we're gonna do is put these frozen chicken breast right into the bottom here. And then we're just gonna start dumping everything on top of it. All right, so on top of your chicken, we're just gonna put some Badia Complete down. I know the chicken's frozen, but I'm still gonna season it up. And we're gonna dump this whole can chicken broth right in there it's a 14.5 ounce can now this is my recipe there are several recipes around you do whatever is best for you and your family and what y'all like next we're gonna take tomatoes they're gonna go right in as well juice and all black beans not drained not rinsed just dump them right in there. All of these are like the 15.25 ounce cans. Same for the chili beans. I just kind of like to spread them around a little bit. I'll come back and get all the other stuff out. And then same for the corn. Now what's good about this is that you can freeze this. So we will, we will have leftovers. We'll probably eat on it a couple nights, but the rest I'll freeze and it freezes perfectly. Now, in it goes the whole packet of chili seasoning, and the whole packet of ranch. When I say this is my absolute favorite, I know it's because of that ranch. And then to top it off, we're gonna lay that block of cream cheese right on the top. And what we're gonna do is just kinda stir these seasonings around just a little bit. You don't have to worry about it too much because everything is gonna cook together. I just kinda like to get it melted in there a little bit. Now you could have totally done this and I probably should have before I put the cream cheese in there, but y'all know me by now. <laughs> All right, so that is in there. What we're gonna do is Oops, sorry, that was probably loud. Get our handy dandy lid on there. Set this for about six to eight hours. And then when we get home, we'll just take that chicken out and shred it all together and mix it all up and it'll be ready to serve. Just to bring y'all back over here, it's 7.35. I started at 7.29, that is six minutes. Even opening the cans and everything. You can't beat that to have supper ready. All right, y'all, so I'm home from work. We're gonna go ahead and 
see what we got here. Looks so good. So I know I said I was probably gonna take the chicken out and shred it, but I think I'm just gonna use this handy dandy tool and just break that chicken right on up in there. That way I don't have to dirty any dishes and it shreds it just good enough for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue to just smash up this chicken and mix that cream cheese in there and then we'll be ready to serve it. All right y'all, so you all can see that all that chicken is now broke apart and the cream cheese is mixed in there. It might not look too appealing, but I'm gonna tell y'all what, this is probably some of the best chili slash soup slash stoop <laughs> that you will ever have. It is probably, like I said before, it's one of my absolute favorites. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and serve this deliciousness on up. Also, our second crock pot soup is going to be tater soup and I'm going to show you a really quick and easy way of getting this done in a hurry. So we're going to use the southern style hush browns. You can use the ones with the peppers in them um, if you don't mind it being in your tater soup but I'm just going to use these. They're just the diced ones. You'll need some chicken broth. I use 32 ounces. You'll need a can each of cheddar cheese soup. These are the 10.5 ounce by Campbell's. Um, cream of celery, and then you can use plain cream of chicken. You can even use the cream of potato, cream of onion, which I gotta get a can of cream of onion out. Um, and then a can of cream of chicken with herbs, a block of cream cheese, and a can of cream of onion. <laughs> so all of this is gonna go ahead and get dumped in that crock pot. You're gonna cook it on high for about six hours or low for two to four. All right, so first thing, we're just gonna spray it real quick. Then we're gonna dump in that whole bag of hash browns and we're gonna give them a season with, y'all guessed it, bidet complete. As much or as little as you want. Now I'm gonna go ahead and open up all these soups and the cream cheese and I'll be right back. All right, so we're gonna start with the cheddar cheese soup and we're gonna scrape all the rest of it out in just a minute. Then we're gonna go ahead and add in the cream of celery cream of chicken with herbs, or you can just use the plain cream of chicken. And then cream of onion, which I need to get more of because I've only got one more can. And this stuff is good on a lot of dishes. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and scrape all of these cans out and I'll be right back. All right, so now we've got all of the soups in there and I scraped them all out. We're gonna dump this whole thing of chicken broth in there. And then we're gonna give it a good mix before we lay the block of cream cheese in there. Um, I might tear this one up and then just put like little pieces. You can cube it up if you want to. Whatever you wanna do, that is fine. You can just set it in there if you're gonna be gone all day. This will come together more as it cooks, of course, but you just kinda wanna just make sure everything is mixed up good. And then we'll add that brick of cream cheese. So just like tear it into little tiny pieces. All right, so we've got everything in there. We're just gonna go ahead and put our lid on it. We'll turn it to high for at least two to three hours. Since I'm here, I'll leave it on high. But if I was away and at work, I would cook it on low for anywhere from four to eight hours. It just depends. But well, we're gonna go ahead and put this lid on it and let it finish cooking. All right, y'all, so let's see what we got. I have stirred it a couple times just to come in here and break up that cream cheese. I'm just gonna scrape the sides down, which is another reason why I said if you're just gonna put it in there and leave it i would probably do like a crock pot liner so we are getting ready to serve this on up and right here i just went ahead and shredded up some cheese that's just the sharp cheddar i believe 
I diced up some of my green onions and then I have some crumbled bacon bits right there. So I kind of like my tater soup more like a loaded tater soup or something like that. So this is what I put on top of mine and I'm gonna go ahead and get it in a bowl. All right, y'all, so the third crock pot soup is gonna be a creamy gnocchi chicken soup. So I've got some spinach gnocchi here. You need some chicken bouillon, of course, some badia complete to season, some cannellini beans or white kidney beans. Chicken broth, I'm gonna use a reduced sodium. You'll need some parsley, some evaporated milk, minced garlic, an onion that's gonna be diced up here in a minute, some chicken breast or chicken strips, that's what I had on hand of course some carrots and some spinach. So let's go ahead and get this put together. All right, so to start out with, I'm gonna put some onions in the bottom of the crock pot. And then we're gonna add in our chicken strips. Mine are still a little bit frozen, but it's not bad. And we're gonna go ahead and season the chicken. Add a little bit of chicken bouillon. We're gonna throw in some garlic. Y'all already know I don't measure my garlic. <laughs> The white beans that go in next. The only thing we're not gonna put in here um, will be the evaporated milk. That'll come in at the last 30 minutes. So after I get home from work, I'll stir that in. The tomatoes, some carrots, Throw in a couple handfuls of spinach. We're gonna add in our other half of our onion. We're gonna add in our gnocchi. Now the recipe didn't specifically say to add that in right now. <laughs> it didn't even give me a spot to add it. So Put that one in and then we'll dump in the chicken broth. I do like to break those up though. That way they're not stuck together. And now add in that whole container of chicken broth. This is gonna cook on low for four hours. So I'm just gonna kinda give this a quick smush down. This will make more liquid though, so I'm not worried about it because everything is gonna be covered when I get home from work this evening. Add in the cheese and the um, evaporated milk and we'll give it a stir. So we're gonna go ahead and put our lid on this and it's gonna cook on low for about four hours. All right, so we are home. We're gonna add in the last couple of things, which is gonna be the parsley, the milk, and some Parmesan cheese. For some reason, I had two open containers, but let's go ahead and get that added in here. All right, so we're gonna start off by adding in the evaporated milk. Next, we're going to add in the Parmesan cheese. And we're going to add in some parsley. Now we're just going to give all of this a stir. Let that cook for just a little bit longer and it's going to be ready. Sorry. All right, so note to self, <laughs> since the recipe really didn't say when to add the gnocchi, I would add it later because I can only find a couple of them in here. I think they've pretty much, much later, you know, add disintegrated. Them, add them much later. <laughs> so just make sure you would add them like in the last 30 minutes of cooking. So our fourth soup is gonna be a Tex-Mex soup. So for this, I'm just gonna make up some beef broth. That's why I have my beef bouillon here. You'll need about a cup to two cups of that. 
you'll need some petite diced tomatoes or you can use Rotel. I'm just using these since we're gonna add this whole can of green chilies in. You'll need some black beans. I'm gonna add in salsa verde since I couldn't find the enchilada sauce. I know, it's awful. I'll probably still go buy a food line after work and see if I can find another can and maybe add into it. But this will work for now. I'll just use the rest in beef broth. You'll need an onion, some corn, and some taco seasoning. I'm also browning up a pound of ground beef with just a little bit of a Padilla Complete on it. That's also gonna go into our crock pot, but let's get to cooking. All right, y'all, so in goes the ground beef. I didn't have to drain mine because it was a fresh ground beef and it had a little fat to it. So next goes the taco seasoning. In goes rinsed and drained black beans. Next is the corn. Now the mild green chilies, the whole can of salsa verde, the whole can of petite diced tomatoes, and with the diced onion, and last but not least, two cups of the beef broth that I made. I just used the directions on the back of the bouillon. Now we're just gonna stir everything together, put that lid on it, and let it cook for about six to eight hours on low. And then by the time I get home from work, it'll be ready to serve up. We'll just put some sour cream, cheese, tortilla chips, whatever you want with it. You could even do guacamole too, but we're just gonna let this cook on down. All right, y'all, so I'm home from work. Let's go ahead and see what we got in here waiting. <laughs> it is smelling delicious. It looks delicious. You can see all of that stuff is cooked down. You've got a nice broth to add your cheese, your sour cream, your tortilla chips or strips, whatever you want. But y'all, does that not just look absolutely delicious? We're going to have us some good Tex-Mex soup. All right, y'all, that is it for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give me a big thumbs up and leave me a comment below. I love talking with all my friends on here. As always, if you are in need of prayer, please let me know below. I will be honored to pray for you all. Also, make sure you go and check out this playlist that is listed below in my description box. You don't want to miss all these delicious soup ideas that is coming up every day this month. Make sure you go and show Leanne some love and let her know that I sent you. Until next time, my sweet friends, God bless. Bye.